Hello and welcome to a new series of videos that will cover dynamic segmentation for Aruba OS CX switches. Let's cut to the chase and get right into it. The good news is that technically dynamic segmentation on AOS CX works very much the same as AOS switch in the likes of the 2930, 3810 and 5400. The main difference is the way AOS CX is configured. It's very much related to CLI configuration differences. In this video, I will sum up the differences, and in the videos that follow, I will show you how to configure everything. This will include the configuration of local user roles, downloadable user roles, and user-based tunneling. With AOS CX, port-based tunneling is not supported at this moment. It is unclear whether this will be supported in the future, but at this moment, and we're talking software release 10.6, only user-based tunneling is supported. For downloadable user roles, a root certificate is required to be installed on the switch. With AOS switch, this was done automatically when entering the command for the downloadable user administrator. On AOS CX, the root certificate must be installed manually, and that is if you are configuring the switch through CLI. If you are using Aruba Central for provisioning the configuration or use zero touch provisioning with DHCP options, the root certificate can be embedded in the configuration. If you want to use downloadable user roles with dynamic segmentation, you need a root certificate installed on the switch. Typically in root certificates, the FQDN is used instead of an IP address. For authorization, the switch uses the certificates CN to resolve the ClearPass server. If the FQDN in the certificate is not the same as the RADIUS server hostname in the configuration, the download of the role will fail. Therefore, it is best practice to define the RADIUS server in FQDN format. Another advantage that you will have when you define the FQDN is that when the IP address of ClearPass changes, the switch will simply resolve the new ClearPass server. There is no need to renew the root certificate now for the switch to be able to resolve the DNS name, you need to have a DNS server configured that resolves your ClearPass. This will require the configuration of DNS. If you rely on public DNS servers, it will be a challenge to resolve private DNS FQDN. The switch also allows you to configure hosts, which means that the switch will map the configured IP address with the FQDN. At this moment, AOS CX does not support dynamic secondary user roles. As a refresher, with dynamic secondary user roles, the switch can instruct the mobility controller, and actually Aruba has changed the naming mobility controller to Gateway, uh, to download the secondary user role from ClearPass, instead of having this role configured locally on the Gateway. A cool new feature in AOS CX is the ability for multi-zoning. With multi-zone, you can create multiple profiles on a switch, with each profile connecting to a different gateway cluster. This feature gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of selecting the appropriate forward path for different endpoint groups. Another new cool feature in AOSCX is virtual network-based tunneling. With user-based tunneling, a GRE tunnel is established between an endpoint connecting to a switch and a gateway. With VNBT, a VXLAN tunnel can be established between two switches without the intervention of a gateway. This is especially useful in environments where you do not need the advanced security, but you do not want to rely on the underlay network for communication between the endpoints. And really, so these are the main differences. And of course, to get all of this working with AOS CX, you need the right software levels on the gateways and clear pass. And in the upcoming uh, videos, I will be using this setup. In this diagram, you see all the relevant components and their software releases. In the next video, I will be demonstrating the configuration of local user roles with local breakout or user-based tunneling. So watch the space. I'm looking forward to getting you all up to speed with dynamic segmentation on AOS CX. Thanks for watching.